I'm gonna try to refrain from taking too many of these out at once. I mean, not taking them all out at once. What the crap is st well... Her defense really isn't that great, but... Trying to hit her is... A challenge in and of itself, so... Alright, Joshua. Please screw this up. I can't believe that even with Amidas' tome, he got a really terrible level. There we go. You're gonna do better than that, Joshua. I'm gonna feel like I wasted it. And he can finally use Old Halma. Good. Let's take... Actually, I wonder if you can take him out. I don't want to put her in range of that, though. You know what? This is a good idea. <laughs> Go, Natasha. I've really never used her much as an attacking unit, so... Let's give her to this dude. He's getting on my nerves. He's really getting on my nerves. There we go. Down over there. Letting him I have this kill. Because I really want that Flimbaverter. Or Fimbleverter. Excuse me. Be a good tone for Ewan to have. That was a good level up. Maybe we should have given the Minus' tome to her. Yeah. I'll send the Guiding Ring back because I definitely don't need that. If I can draw this guy out. Okay. Time to show you guys what Murr looks like in action here. Ooh, she got a critical hit on her first showing. Nice. And she gains a crap ton of experience. Yeah, let's show off Ar Archer as a bishop now, using the Divine Book. Your dark magic shall not prevail against me. Sweet, he gained a level. Yeah, he's the one that's got the uh, really crappy luck. Oh, he got resistance. I'm happy about that. Yeah, I need to get you guys level ups as... Uh, promoted units pretty quick. Luckily, there's a ton of druids that come out of that thing, and I'm just gonna sit here and wait, because there's no point in me trying to charge ahead. Uh, yeah, those only ones haven't moved, so let's see how it goes. I knew you were gonna fly towards E1, because you're cheap like that. It's not gonna end well for you, though. I'm pretty much just gonna set you on fire. Like that. Goodbye. Oh, you almost got a level out of that. I don't know why he thought attacking her was a better idea, but whatever. Hopefully she'll get a critical... Wow, you really just cannot do much damage with an iron axe, can you? Yep, here they come. Ah, more of those guys. I need to physics staff Archer if I can. Ah, crap. I can't get to him. Hmm, he's got a dragon shield. If I wanted it, I could steal it, but I don't. Yeah, let's go ahead and take this guy out with E1. There we go. Almost. And we're just going to leave you guys like that. Just in case you get hit in a really stupid way again. There we go. And we should be done right there. Well, oh...
Yeah, let's see them deal with that. He didn't have a throwing weapon, does he? No, he doesn't. Oh well. I'm just gonna wait. Bad move. Very bad move. I mean, if Joshua would get a critical, it'd be a really, really, really bad move. But, you know, he, he's just not feeling it today. He's not feeling it, guys. Just, he's just not feeling it. Come on. Oh, well, you can kill this guy without it. Whatever, it's a Lance Reaver. I really don't care. And you're coming for Erica, which is a bad move. And yet, you somehow hit a 20 freaking percent chance to hit. I don't understand that at all. Whatever. You are making the worst decision. You're lucky she doesn't have a lance on her. Or a uh, spear. I wondered, I was like, now what is this dummy gonna do? Yep, there's more. Let's see if I can't lure that guy out. You know, I could do that. Is he full health? Yeah, he's mostly full health. Sword Slayer. Let's go ahead and use a Vulnery. And let's do this. Get Mara level here. Yeah, this is nothing though. Level up! Yeah, her growth percentages are pretty good. <laughs> She'll get a level up. When she gets a level up, she gets a she gets a couple of good stats. All right, come on, Erica, take this guy out. And she'll get a level up. Her first is a promoted unit. Now she got defense. I'm happy about that. Now what about Ephraim? What is he gonna get? Well, first things first, he's gonna spear this guy. Jeez, Ephraim! Didn't he get a critical last time around? Eh, he's almost there. He'll get there eventually. One way or another, he'll get there. He's gonna find you. Uh, what am I gonna do about over here? Oh, I need to be moving you up. Cause you might be needed at some point. I just don't know when. Bring this guy down at some point. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and have Joshua stand here with the uh, Shashmir. Actually, let's go with the Killing Edge instead. And have you take this out. Boom. And Ewan gets a level. His resistance is really high. His defense is probably going to stay really low, but eh. Kind of expected, honestly. This way Natasha can finish him off. And I can kill off that Iron Axe. Oh, no you don't. Oh, no you don't. I mean, I feel kind of bad because I just gave her an axe, but eh, we'll be fine. And let Natasha take this guy out. And she gets a level. Eh, not a bad level. Nothing's really gonna hit her magic-wise, because her resistance is really freaking high. Hello there. You missed. And it'll be the last mistake you ever make. There you go, Joshua. You're coming for Ross. Well, good for you, buddy. And you missed, which I knew was going to happen. And you're coming for me. Again, very bad move. Ow! That hurt. Not really, it was more like a fly on the head. And more of those guys. 
All right. So pretty much, I'm gonna move up here with the Sword Slayer, and I'm gonna split this guy's head open. Because Ross is ridiculous. And now one guy's gonna come forward with a... Ooh, he got speed, which is good. So the guy's gonna come up with a... Let's see... 51... Gotta make sure... Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's not gonna be able to reach Ephraim. If so, he'll reach Ephraim, and I'm okay with that problem, because Ephraim's probably just gonna take him out. Ephraim's got really high defense, so I'm not worried about it. Kill this dude. Oh, he got a regular attack for once. Oh, you're almost there, Ephraim. I think I'm gonna send Garrick to go help out over here. Because it looks like the majority of the forces are going to be over here. No, no support. You guys are not meant to be. Aha, you're coming for me. <laughs> the last mistake he ever made. It's kind of funny seeing that happen, actually. More of those guys, jeez. Is that ever gonna end over there? I actually don't think it does. Now one thing's for sure, you don't wanna get in, uh, you don't wanna be too close to Lion. I can promise you, you don't want that. So stay about a space away if you can, because his magic is pretty powerful. Dang, Ephraim. You really wanted that level up, didn't you? That's a pretty good level. Eh, we're alright. Could use some more speed, but I'm not gonna complain too much. And Ross is gonna take this guy out in one shot with a critical, because that's how Ross rolls. And honestly, I think that's enough for over here, because this is kind of clustered as it is. I'm going to keep Tana over here, just to help control the flow a little bit. Put you there. Keep you moving over here. Let's see what Amelia can do against this dude. Not much, really. I mean, she's throwing Ross's hatchet, for crying out loud, but that's the only throwing weapon I had to give her at the moment. Take this guy out. Because Natasha's pretty awesome. And then it's Joshua's turn. With his Lance Breaker. He only needed one use of it to do that, though. <laughs> There we go. That's taken care of. Uh, I guess we're good. Oh, forgot about those guys. I mean, anyone will be fine. Whatever. Should probably just leave him there. That way he can get all the experience over here. I mean, these guys really don't pose, th pose a threat to him, in all honesty. Yay, you got S-Rank. Sweet. Meaning I'm going to switch him over to light magic now. Boom, there we go. Check out that anima skill. And there we are. You're going to make a big mistake. A very poor mistake, I might add. And more guys appeared down that direction. Uh, which, what am I gonna do about that? Could send Ross, but there's really no point. Honestly, it's more up uh, Joshua Garrick's alley, if we're being clear here. You would get, you could take a massive amount of damage.
How much would you take if you got in a, uh... Ooh, she would take a crap ton of damage. I need this guy out of the way, though. Get rid of this guy. I mean, with Ephraim right there, technically, I could put Tana right there and just destroy Lion. I mean, there's not much he can really do. Send you this way. There we go. Uh, I'm just gonna fall back. Wish they'd stop wanting to support with each other. There we go. Oh, this music. I love Lion's song so much. Like, I want to do a guitar cover of that one of these days. Just full band cover, rock out, play this. Oh, I can't wait. Dude, challenge me. Your humans are so incon inconstant. I don't really care. I don't, I don't have any fear of you. You can't get a critical hit, so I'm good. This is going to hurt if it hits, though. Ooh, it didn't. Ooh! Good dodge, Tana. Oh, that music is so good. Ooh, there's a ton of these guys coming. Uh, you know what? What do you have? You got an axe. Well, I don't like you. So I'm gonna use a sword. <laughs> and do barely any damage. Eh, it'll build her axe skill up. I can't complain. That, and I could really use the experience these guys are going to be giving, so... Can't say anything. You did hit S rank, right? Yeah, you did. Okay. Well, that means it's time to use Shine again! Just so he gains experience on this. I really don't care about that level, but eh, while he's casting spells, might as well let him cast Light Magic. Alright, so we took care of that. We can just do this little song and dance again, really. Man, Natasha and Joshua make a great team. Like, look at this. And then have him waltz up with his Lance Reaver in tow. And these guys don't stand a freaking chance. Like, look at this. They, they don't stand a chance. I mean, technically, she probably does have to be a Valkyrie in order to keep up with him. But, you know. Still not sure who to send that way. That's right, I'm sending Garrick. And Archer to hide. He's basically going to be over here to heal. That's pretty much what he's going to be used for. Alright. Ephraim, you probably could take him out if you use Sigmund. Yeah, you would. You might get hurt, though. That, and I kind of want to see his dialogue with the twins. Let's see what he says to Ephraim. Yeah, where's where's our friend? No, he's not. Surely he's not. Take him, Ephraim. <laughs> now watch, he's going to get a critical hit, so I won't know what he'll say to Erica. I really kind of hope this doesn't hit, because this is going to hurt a lot. Ouch. Yeah, that hurts. Oh, Ephraim, I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> What'd I tell you? I knew he was going to do that. I knew he was going to do that. Good one, Ephraim. Oh, heh, yourself. And we get a level for that. Level three. I ain't got defense. That's okay. <laughs> got a Nosferatu, which I don't need. Oh, that's right. The level ends when you defeat him. Oops. Oh, well. We're fine. 
No, you don't have the strength yet. Oh, sure. We'll see about that. Get back here! Stop! Uh, maybe I will. Ah, crap, he got away again. After him! Yep. Okay. I'm not sure how we can follow a path of teleporting, but whatever. Uh-huh. Ooh, we got Frillia Sacred Twins. What do we got? Yeah, that's been constant everywhere for some reason. Nidhogg, the Serpent Bow, and Vidofner, the Winged Lance. Hmm. Wonder who the bow's gonna go to, and I wonder who's getting the lance. Here's a hint. It's not Ephraim. Yeah, seriously. Oh, cool. Yay! More sacred weapons we're not using yet. I mean, not that Taina frickin' needs the Winged Lance at this rate. And we got Nidhogg, which Ephraim obviously cannot use. And Vedofner. Now, Vedofner gives def defense plus five, which is really good for Tana, actually. And that is it. This was actually pretty short. I mean, it's probably still going to be a two-parter because we're at that point in the game where the levels take forever. But you know what? I'm having fun. So join me next time. Rudrick out.